In this video, we are gonna teach you a way to help your kiddo build upper body strength. You might notice that your baby is struggling with a weak upper body. It happens to a lot of babies. It is fairly common, especially if they struggled with tummy time. We're gonna do this through an exercise called the wheelbarrow. You might have also heard it as wheelbarrow walking. Stay tuned. Hi, I'm Dr. Lauren Baker, a pediatric physical therapist, and on this channel, we help proactive parents learn how to help their babies move better. If you haven't been here before, welcome. Think of me as your physical therapy bestie, helping you learn how to help your kiddo move with confidence and ease. Today, we are talking about the wheelbarrow and what it is, how to do it, the benefits of wheelbarrow walking, what age it would be best to do the wheelbarrow at, and answering some of your questions on what this can do to help your kiddo translate to crawling, walking, um, or even just building that upper body strength. You can do the wheelbarrow exercise for kiddos about eight months, seven maybe, depending on if they are able to lay on their belly and push through their arms onto extended elbows. Typically kiddos respond best to this exercise if they can maintain a couple of seconds through those extended elbows. Maybe they're even getting into that quadruped rocking position. That would be a great time to kind of build up a little bit more of their upper body strength so that they can then transition into fully crawling and also building some of that core strength. So what are the benefits of wheelbarrow walking? The biggest one is that you are pulling the legs and the lower extremities out of the equation. And so you are doing what we in the physical therapy world call a partial task. That means that you are isolating one area of the body in order to make it easier and or in order to target a specific region of the body. When you pull the hips and the legs out of the equation and you focus just on the upper half of your trunk and the arms, you are decreasing the amount of coordination needed in order to complete the task. You're decreasing the amount of body parts that a kiddo has to concentrate on in order to coordinate, move, uh, produce force through those muscles, and also it takes the overall workload of that activity down a notch. So you're able to focus more on upper body strengthening and less on the lower body. That allows for the upper body to get stronger so then when you add back in the lower body, the kiddo may produce a better performance because now they are able to focus on, okay, let's string this all together, but I don't have to work as hard on my upper body as I used to, so now the system is moving smoother. The second thing that wheelbarrow walking really works on is weight shifting. So in order to crawl, you need to have your both of your hands on the ground, and then you actually need to shift your weight over your hand. So your shoulder needs to go over your wrist, hold your body up in that position, lift up your other arm, and then place it forward. So in order to do that, you really have to stabilize through your shoulder complex, maintain your upper trunk in a neutral horizontal position, and then be able to unweight one arm and move it forward. And then once that other arm is forward, you have to actually shift your weight diagonally over that new arm that is placed in front of your shoulder, shift that shoulder over that arm, stabilize that arm, 
lift your other arm up and then place that arm in front and repeat the system. This is a really complicated movement pattern. It requires a lot of shoulder muscular stability, so the rotator cuff muscles, as well as the upper trunk, so your pecs and your biceps, and then additionally, also all of the upper back muscles in order to make sure that you're not collapsing through your arms, um, bending them, and then, you know, sometimes kiddos like will lay their face on the ground because they're tired, things like that. Or sometimes it's even involuntary and then they just collapse through their arms and their face kind of bonks the floor because those arms and that whole upper body complex is not strong enough to hold the weight of their trunk in that position. The third benefit to wheelbarrow walking is that you're able to really work on the core musculature. And so you have to tilt your body working on those oblique muscles, as well as working on those deep abdominal muscles like your transverse abdominus, as well as some of the more superficial muscles like your rectus abdominis. And you have to be able to globally activate those muscles, both the front abdominal muscles as well as the back extensor muscles in order to keep your body in a neutral position. If you have a kiddo who has more of a weak core, you might notice that you have to increase the support at their trunk if they go into an arched back position. So the further your hands are down a child's body, like at the pelvis or at the feet, they're gonna have to have a higher level of core strength in order to maintain a nice board-like position. So if their hands are on the ground, you want their trunk to be very neutral and in a nice sloping fashion versus if their back is arched like this where their belly is kind of falling to the ground. You want it to be more of a neutral diagonal position. So those are the big benefits of wheelbarrow walking. Now, make sure that you stick to the end of the video because I'm gonna go over one way that you can work one-on-one -on -one directly with me if you have additional questions. And as a bonus, I'm going to share with you guys an exercise that you can do if you find that wheelbarrow walking is too hard for your kiddo just in the beginning or if it's too hard for your kiddo just on any given day. Sometimes we need to back off a little bit and do a slightly easier exercise and that's totally fine. But as the parent, you definitely wanna know what that bonus slightly easier exercise is that is still working on the same thing, right? All right, let's get into it. There you go. Yeah, push. Yeah, keep going. So I put her weight over the extended arm and then we try to get the next one on. Yeah, good chest. Go, go, go. There you go. And then I can also do forward backwards here. Yeah, good job, good pushing. I always have a hand under their chest. So you can see my hand down here because they might get tired and then just lean their head on the ground. Good job. More, 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 let's go. Yeah, what should we go get? Good working, more, more. Nice working, more, more. Yeah, oh, oh. Whoosh, 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 whoosh. This is gonna strengthen not only her arms, but this upper trunk, basically from like a little bit above your belly button all the way to your shoulder girdle. And as she gets stronger, I'll be able to pull this arm away. But right now I'm giving her about 40% support right at this rib cage. 
Yeah, good job. Good work. Good work. Push, push, push. I see, and then you can see if I pull my hand away that she, she's tired, huh? Okay, so maybe you have a kiddo that's a little bit older and they're not a baby and you wanna know how to do this exercise on a toddler. The biggest thing is that as kiddos get older, they're gonna likely have more core strength and so you're gonna be able to pull your support down a little bit further. So with toddlers, a lot of times I will put my support on their pelvis compared to supporting both their pelvis and potentially their upper trunk. They're almost two years old in this video just to give you a little bit of context. What if your kiddo is really struggling with the wheelbarrow exercise or wheelbarrow walking and you need to back off a little bit, either just on that day because they're extra tired or maybe the wheelbarrow exercise is just too difficult because coordinating and holding their body in that position is enough and they're not yet able to weight shift over the one arm in order to pick up the other arm. There's really two different exercises that you can do. One is the baby or toddler plank where you elevate their legs and basically just work on them holding their two hands on the ground. I will link my baby plank video up right now. So make sure you click on that video and learn more about that exercise. The other option is to work on the all fours position and with that position, you have four points of contact on the ground. So you have both hands and both knees, but you're still on extended elbows. So you're still working those same muscles that the wheelbarrow exercise is working on, which directly translates to what they'll need for the wheelbarrow exercise. But because the knees are on the ground, it's slightly easier. It's taking some workload off of the abdominal muscles and a little bit of workload off of the upper trunk muscles. And I will also link that exercise. The video is demonstrating it on infants, but you can easily adapt that exercise to an older child just by finding a surface that's about chest height and then having them place objects up on that surface. Maybe you have a child in all four and all the puzzle pieces are out in front of them and they have to reach forward, grab a puzzle piece, and then put it in the puzzle while still only having all that weight just on one shoulder. So you do one puzzle with weight bearing through the left arm on extended elbows and then you switch and do another puzzle where they have to weight bear on their right arm. So those are just a couple of ideas on how you can modify this activity if it is too difficult for your kiddo. And that's wrap folks. I am so grateful that you joined me today and learning how to help your baby gain upper body strength and or your toddler to get those strong arms and upper trunk. It has been my absolute pleasure to bring this content to you. It's one of my greatest joys, absolutely. And if you have any questions, make sure that you drop them in the comments. You guys, I'm obsessed with sharing information with you and this YouTube community that we're building as well as other people's information with you if, for example, I don't personally have that video yet. So if there's something that you're looking for on YouTube to help your baby or your toddler get stronger but you can absolutely cannot find it anywhere, make sure you let me know and I will search the depths of the internet to find you that resource or point you in a direction if I have not personally created it yet. And as promised, one of the best ways that you can work directly one-on-one -on -one with me is through an online consultation. Make sure you check the pinned comment because there will be a link on how you can work directly one-on-one -on -one with me. We can talk about all things upper body strength for babies or toddlers or even older kiddos. And we can answer any questions that you might have based on the season and the phase of life your child is at.